Four staff members from Mitchelton Scott are positive after those rest day tests yesterday, Monday. The whole team in mass is going home. News broke of various riders testing positive and uh, it shook me pretty hard. My wife and I are expecting another another kid in kind of any time now in the next couple of weeks. And with that news and, and that thought, I just lost all focus when it came to racing and decided it was best to, uh, to pull the plug on this year's Giro. The uh, hardest yet easiest decision I've had to make in quite a long time. Go, go, go. Last time we heard from you on Flow Bikes, at least, you were at the Giro d'Italia. <laughs> what happened? Uh, the birds and the bees is what happened. I saw all these positive tests in the Peloton, and I was faced with a pretty difficult decision. It was basically the first time I was, you know, getting raced one of my objectives all, all season. It's about to miss out, especially to see how, how well the guys race for the, the rest of the Giro. You know, winning the KOM jersey is, with Ruben Guerrero is, is amazing. So, wish I could have been there, but. Uh, I can't say I wanted to after after I got home, but I will say I did not imagine being home for only 12 hours before my wife actually went into labor. And uh, yeah, within a day of me being back, I uh, was a father for the second time. I used to have a dedicated Zwift setup where I had a bike always, a bike and trainer always set up. Nowadays, it's a bit more of a setup, kind of keeping the room clear or clutter for, for a little baby Noah. And then I'll, so now it's just lugging a, a smart train around the house. Indoor training and, and new dad is, just goes hand in hand. You know, if in, my wife needs me or the kids need me, I'm right here. I got a plethora of books, you know, get a cat a cupcake, <laughs> ready to go at arm's reach in case uh, our daughter comes in here and, uh, and wants a, a little story time. Got my changing pad right next to me so I can change a diaper. It's a lot, but you know, when things are important in your life, you gotta commit to them, you gotta work hard for them, you know? You were on incredible form at the Giro d'Italia. That form is not going to waste because you have signed on to compete in the UCI Esports World Championships on December 8th and 9th being held on the Zwift platform. When I was approached about a couple weeks ago saying, hey, uh, you know, would you be interested in taking part in the Zwift World Championships? You know, I was all about it. Being a new dad, again, you realize, oh, that, that getting out in training is, is tough. And Zwift is just like a pretty na natural and organic way to, to, to stay fit. A lot of people say Zwift is not real racing. It's 100% real racing. It's just different. The people that, that don't, you know, like it or people who don't say it's real racing are the people that just don't know it. I think more people now are riding than ever before. It's such an easy way to, to get a workout in or up your competitive edge if you want to jump on a weeknight race or, or whatever. It's a platform where you actually ride with the fans of the sport. Um, the fans can log on and ride the World Championships course. It's created a community that, that allows people to exercise and brings people closer together when normally that might be really challenging to do. For me, I get to race against guys that I normally wouldn't be able to and, and friends and families and I think that's really unique. Uh, it's not an opportunity I, I get very often. So much of the season I get my teeth kicked in by all these top shot <laughs> hitters in the World Tour and you know it's nice to sometimes race at a, at a different level than that. You don't have to go to Europe and uh, race Wout Van Aert and Matthew Vanderpoel and yeah, uh, right. Primus Roglic to get your teeth kicked in. You can, can do get right your here teeth on kicked in by esports athletes, right? <laughs> at least, yeah, at least, you know, when I get schooled in a Zwift race, I can immediately go in my own shower and start crying and instead of trying to stifle it in a team bus. What are the, the tips and tricks of, of racing on Zwift that you think that um, you'll, you'll need to succeed in the world championships? I mean, I'd say the number one thing you have to do is start out flat out. <laughs> Make sure you're warmed up. There's no, uh, no riding into it during these races. There's gonna be guys that are going nuclear on the front, but you really gotta pick and choose where you wanna spend your energy. And for me, I found those are you know, the harder moments of the course. 
there's the volcano, dude. Oh, you can see the volcano looming in the distance. See if we make it all the way over there. Ooh. She's gonna hurt. <laughs> She's gonna hurt real good. How do you think the the uphill finish at the end of this World Championships race will affect the strategy and also affect the outcome of the race? It's long enough to where it's gonna be an hour plus of racing, which will be really challenging. You know, there's also just enough elevation gain to actually play a role. This hill that we do, it's it's not easy. It's good, solid, you know, minute of pure power of getting over it. Peloton will get smaller and smaller. There'll probably be, you know, 25, 30 guys still left there at the base of the volcano. And then we'll probably see three or four guys duke it out for the for the win. Who, who do you look at as, as some of the, the favorites for the eSports World Championships? You know, there's a lot of racers that race exclusively on Zwift that I, you know, I, I don't really quite know yet. Rod Finert spends a lot of time on Zwift. Uh, Vanderpool spends a lot of time on Zwift. If those guys show up, then those guys are gonna be really, really challenging to, to beat. We shouldn't gloss over the fact that another important part of your Zwift persona is trash talking. What is that about? It seems like something you probably can't really get away with in the world tour, but on Zwift, um, you know, the messaging platform does allow you to, to throw out some, some barbs at your competitors. Yeah, it's good, it's important. For me, it was, it was good to have that ability to, to chat with everyone else in the Peloton. Just as kind of a mind, uh, a mind game. I pulled my phone out and started typing away while I'm attacking. And it would blow everyone's mind, because they'd be like, no way. Really, it was terrible for me too, but for them there, I had so many people reach out there. I don't understand, dude, we're just suffering and, and you're just chatting and, you know, it's all fun and games. And, yeah, just a way to kind of get in your competitor's head and, and you know, have fun with it. Any, any final uh, takeaways on uh, this course, what you expect from the Zwift World Championships and, uh, and you know, I guess what you're weighing right now. What I'm, did you just ask what I'm weighing? <laughs> did you just ask Man, what I'm weighing? it needs to be out in the open. Oh my it goodness. Needs be, it needs, no it needs to be we're... on the open for the World Championships. Everybody is gonna know, man. We're in the, this is like the boxing <laughs> world, man. I'll tell you what, I'm probably gonna be I'm going one of those crazy diets. Probably won't drink for three days beforehand before I weigh in, starve myself, sit in a sauna. Yeah. We did see some team, even World Tour team, racing on Zwift. How, how does the team dynamic play into Zwift racing? And, and how do you think it'll play out at the World Championships with national teams, which always creates a, an interesting dynamic in and of itself? Yeah, World Championships are always always different. You're racing as teammates with guys that maybe you've been racing against for, for the entirety of the year. The U.S. Has, has a lot of talent and I'm looking forward to lining up with these guys and, and try and bring the uh, this first rainbow jersey back to the States. For me personally, spending a couple weeks off the bike, only having about a month of training beforehand, I'm interested to see how it goes for me, but it's going to be fun. It's going to hurt. And it's probably going to be hurting just as bad as you are right now because I'm dropping your booty straight downtown. <laughs> All right, Lawson. It's good chatting you. Sprint. Eat my last dust, one Dilly. to the end of the bridge is a rotten egg. Eat my dust, <laughs> Dilly. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Way back there. Way back there. <laughs>